Okay guys, David with Twice Diecast. Let's take a look at the haul from the convention. Hope you guys saw the recap video, part one of the recap video from the Diecast Supercon that I was at recently. Here's the ticket, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Um, it showed a bunch of peg hunting, a bunch of room to room shopping that was available at the convention. And I thought I would take a look and show you guys what we brought back uh, from the convention. So we're gonna start with this beauty right here. This, uh, I believe, is from the Nuclear Mines group. And I hope you saw that uh, power couple in our community. They had a big booth at the um, at the event, and they had these convention cars carded. I ended up striking a up a conversation with Angela and Lee Allen after their little presentation they did at the show. They have a an amazing heart, an extremely creative and artistic heart. Um, he thinks up the the really cool stuff. Angela makes it happen with all the painting and uh, decal work and all that good stuff. And after giving uh, Lee Allen one of our diecast breakdown customs, he turned around, uh, pulled one of these off his table and gave it to me. So we're going to look at it. This amazing VW van uh, tribute to the snake. There was also, uh, you know, it's complimentary pier, uh, the mongoose. Uh, and you can see that in that video I was talking about earlier. So let's take a look at it. We got some drags uh, on the back. We got some skinnies on the front. Check out the rake on this guy. 100% a roller, an amazing piece. And just take a look at the detail work on this Joker. I might see if Chuck and Mark want to make this a prize on a future Diecast Breakdown episode. It's a, it's a really cool souvenir, and maybe we'll do that, or maybe I'll just keep it and put it on my shelf because it is an amazing custom from an amazing die-cast duo that we have in our hobby. All right, so we'll look at some carded stuff next. We have got from the House of Cars a limited edition Camaro. This was a prize in the... Uh, vending machine pull, and you see some video of that hopefully right here. That was a little short I did. Um, it was really cool. 15 bucks a pull, and you get a chance to win an amazing Camaro like this. Old Man Diecast uh, said he his ears were, were burning when I made my short because uh, he knew a Camaro was involved. We've got the official convention logo on the hood, or excuse me, on the roof rather. Really cool red lines, 10 spokes on the wheel selection, chrome base, check it out, they riveted it. And House of Cards is pretty much the host of the whole show. As I understand it, it's a store in Albuquerque. They probably have opened another location, and if I remember right, I think it was in California. But they were the host for the event. So these are some of the cars from last year, I believe. No, I'm sorry, this is this year's car. Uh, we won't crack it, might be a prize one day. House of Cars, check it out. It is a die-cast store on the West Coast. Exclusive vehicle made especially for House of Cars fans and customers. So really cool Camaro, fantastic paint job. Red looks awesome, red lines look even better. My prize, the, the big prize that I got on the vending machine was this joker right here. So this is from a Weekend of Wheels um, event, and I believe that is a touring diecast show. You can check it out, weekendofwheels.com. Let's take a look at it. A lot of collaboration between the diecast makers and the other vendors that are there. You can see Weekend of Wheels on the tonneau cover. We've got, it's an M2 square body. We've got the gold rims on it. I think this might be from last year. Gold grill, check out the detail on the engine. 
Uh, got a chrome, or excuse me, gold interior on this one. It's just a really well done custom vehicle. And this is a convention car from a Weekend of Wheels convention. So this was one of my prizes, 75 Sierra. We're really well done. All right, so let's take a look at some other stuff because I got some goodies. This was a gift from my buddy Derek at Honest Diecast. And you can see there's his logo, his channel. If for some reason in the world you have not heard of him, uh, go check him out. You're gonna want to see what he finds out on the pegs and he's out there hustling to make it happen, getting treasure hunts, super treasure hunts, all that good stuff. So this is a Tarmac uh, Hobby 64 exclusive. This is a Porsche 911 GT3R and it's a limited edition. You can see right here, number 423, pretty low number. I love it. I love me some Tarmac. I love me some Porsche. Let's take a look at it. For this one, this will start the ones that we're gonna open and I will put this on the turntable here in a, in a second. I'm not gonna touch it. Check that out. I gotta be careful. Look at those antenna. We've got, uh, what do we got? Some chicken here on the back on the wing. What is going on with that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what Abilene is. Pretty wild livery though. Check out the smoked lensed headlamps on that. Lots of detail on these tarmac works. You guys know that. Um, or actually, this is a tarmac IXO exclusive collaboration. So there we go. Check out the rims on this one. Painted the support on the wing. Pretty, pretty rad um, model. Exhaust coming out right there. We'll stick it on the turntable, watch it go around. Um, just a fantastic gift from Derek. Really appreciate it, Derek. And uh, got one more from him. He grabbed this while he was out shopping. He thought of me, I guess, when you think of uh, boring grandpa cars. You know what? I'm, I'm all over it. I own it. I love this 82 Seville. I think this was the casting that they used for that crazy Gucci collaboration. I'll see if I can find a picture of it and put it right there that you cannot find uh, without spending a ton on eBay. So thank you, Derek. This actually is exactly um, what I like to see on my shelves, brother. So I appreciate that. And now let's look at some stuff that I spent money on because like you saw in that video, I got stopped in my tracks by a dude who had a store of nothing but this premium die cast. So I'm gonna crack this open. We're gonna take a look at this Nissan Skyline GTR. I think we are ready to get a proper look at this thing real quick. All right, so we, we all know Mini GT. We know Glenn Chow and his group over there are killing it. We know that they are gonna start doing American stuff in the future. They've got a Lincoln out there right now, but we're gonna look at a really cool Skyline GTR right now. Lensed tail lamps on this Joker, all the GTR badging you want. Skyline above the license plate area, GTR badge right beside those right tail lamps. Wings got a little bit of, I don't know, is that a carbon touch on the spoiler back here? Got some defroster lines looking good. And we've got some really, really nice wheels on this. And lens, or excuse me, treads on the tires, a couple screws holding this in, all the info you need to reference the vehicle. Outstanding job by Mini GT on this GTR. We'll watch it go around, see what you think. Another Mini GT, this time a Bugatti. I don't know this car. Cento Die Dieci, probably butchered that. 
I'll tell you what I can do. I can confidently tell you if it looks cool or not. And immediately, I am gonna give this one two thumbs up. Check out the wheel selection on this one. Black gloss on the base. It's a, it's like a frost white. Got a really cool look on the inside of the rear mounted engine. Black paint on the vents by that. You got that Bugatti styling there on the door, the door vents. You got some plastic side view mirrors putting in here. A nice, clean, proportionate Bugatti badge. The iconic grill. All the vents are done in black paint. Left-hand drive vehicle. Just really like the wheel choice on these. Coming around on the rear, check out that exhaust. Really loaded up on detail there. So this is a uh, really cool one by Mini GT. Looking on the box, I'm trying to see if this is a newer vehicle. Kinda, I kinda feel like maybe it is. Hmm, I don't know. I don't see a copyright date on it. Maybe something on the casting. Eh, nope, that's all you get there. Treaded tires on this one. And I think this base is exactly how it is in real life though. I would imagine it's got a really um, special underneath so i love the splitters built into the base yeah really cool one we'll put this one on the turntable and uh, watch it go around too looking at the stuff i picked i guess you know, I guess I only made it as far as the white and the yellow cars on that table. Um, that's not the case, but I ended up with two white, two yellow. Got a an amazing uh, Z. Here's your Proto. You can compare that one with the Hot Wheels version if you are into that casting, which is really well done. Uh, I just like the extra detail you get on some of these other brands. Z badge on the reg plate and Nissan on the marquee piece back here. Still get lens tail lamps, really nice. They are tiny. A little bit of paint for your side marker lamp. Black glass roof, looking cool. Check out those headlamps, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it on those. Yeah, just a perfect example of a clean stock version of this Proto see what it says on the base not a whole lot these are all mini GT so it should be pretty uh, consistent with the others that we have seen a little bit of chrome trim going down that sailplane so watch it go around you uh, see if you like it One more yellow to go. Nissan Fair Lady Z, another Z. Um, wow, okay, so this NO64, here's what you get with an NO model. If you've never seen the brand, you need to know that, that brand because they make some incredible stuff. And in this one, we got a spare set of wheels. So you can customize this model, put some gold rims on it. Looks like we might have even gotten uh, a set of wheels that has a Fair Lady or Z logo on the center caps. Let's take this out and look at it. We're gonna get it off the base. Here is your plinth. If you are interested in the brand and have never seen it before, this is what you get. So you can display it under your acrylic cover or do like I do and take them all off and put them on your wall shelf. And one thing I love about true 164 scale is all the cars look proportionate to the other, you know, to the one beside it. All right. We have got a Fair Lady Z, um, 300ZX, T-top, right-hand drive, defroster lines on the glass, a individual wiper put on after the fact. That's a different piece. You guys know that profile. Check out the wheels, check out the tires with tread on them. 
here's your NO64 base. True 164, awesome job on the exhaust detail. Cast in mirrors, really love the T-top effect. You get a little bit of matte black around the roof panels to make it look like weatherproofing. Awesome job, NO on that. Lens headlamps, Z badge on the front. What have we got here on the, got some side markers painted and a fog light painted. Other than that, just all the details you would expect from one of the best 164 diecast makers out there. This is NO64 Nissan Fair Lady Z. All right, we did get one that was not white or yellow. This was a purchase in one of my in-room shopping trips. Guy had this for $15, guys. Check out this Tamika Limited Vintage in NEO, or NEO, uh, Honda NSX. I couldn't believe it, 15 bucks. This car is probably, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, probably $60 on some sites. And uh, I'm not sure if this was just not his thing or if he had another one or who knows. I didn't argue. I didn't ask a whole lot of questions. I gave him my money and that was that. All right. So let's take a look at this beauty. Right hand drive. Check out the interior. Good night. Got some uh, tan leather captain's chairs, not captain's chairs, racing seats in there. Look at the uh, gear shift in chrome. Mm, mm, mm. Um, center console divides these two seats. Uh, what do we got? Maybe a little speck of dust on the inside here. It said, according to that picture, that this was a, didn't it say this was a rear opening? That kind of leads me to think that that opens. All right. I'm not going to play around with it too much. In fact, I don't even like it opening. And it doesn't feel like it opens. Okay, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe there's two different versions. Okay, it's, oh, it's the glass that opens. Okay, uh, I'll pop it open here at the end and we'll take a look under the rear glass. Look, good night, yeah. Okay, so now I see why you want to look at the detail you're gonna get down there. All right, uh, no lens headlamps, just a, a sliver. I say that and maybe maybe there is some clear plastic or maybe it's just silver paint with the turn signal in there. Um, just a, an amazing version of the NSX. If you guys know the Hot Wheels casting, you can see how much more accurate this one is. So there is your NSX badge on the rear tail lamp that goes all the way across the breadth of the rear body. Not a lot to look at on the car, so hang tight. I'm gonna try and get this open carefully and we'll look under the glass. Okay, get a good look, because when I close this back up, it may never get opened again. Look at the amazing detail on that engine cover that is vented, and you just can't really appreciate that I can see the engine underneath there poking, I can see some silver and chrome poking out from underneath that grill. All right, so we're gonna try carefully. Maybe that part comes up too. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're gonna look at a really amazing engine detail. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so that is worth the feature of the opening engine cover and rear glass. As expected, TLV nailed it. Keep that nice and tight. Look how flush it lays. So, fantastic NSX, love the color, and hope you guys have enjoyed it. Stick around. After this one goes around on the turntable, I've got one more piece I wanna show you.
All right, thanks for sticking around to the end. The last thing I've got is probably my favorite souvenir that I brought back from the trip. I'm not even gonna get to keep it, actually. Uh, it's a calendar from Anthony Schmidt, and I hope you guys know Anthony. Uh, I'm gonna read the back of the calendar real quick just to introduce you to him. He's a 14-year-old who has combined his love of knowledge. Okay, time out. This was uh, a few years ago. He's not still 14. Combined his love of and knowledge of cars with his passion for photography. Um, diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder at age seven, Anthony inspires others to change their perspectives. It's pretty clever and you'll, you'll see why here shortly. Um, a rusty model or a young man with autism sometimes perceived flaws are what makes things beautiful. Got to hang out with Anthony and his, his mother Ramona at the show um, and it was my favorite part of the trip. Anthony takes uh, a little bit larger scale than what we see on Twice Diecast most of the time, 118, 124, and he incorporates them into dioramas and he does it really well, probably better than anybody you've ever seen because the transitions between his um, diorama and the actual cars in real life it's flawless. I want to give you a quick peek and I want to show you uh, we got this one autographed for Chuck who was not able to make it on this trip but uh, Chuck has been following Anthony's work a little bit longer than I have. He's done reviews on his books on uh, the Diecast Media Network channel. You guys need to check it out but here's an example. Take a look. Now these are not one-to-one -one scale cars. These are 118, 124 scale with a real life scene behind it and the transition is flawless looks like we got some almost like a christine effect here check okay so check this out uh that is a model car set in a uh, on a on a base that matches the scenery around them i want to show you guys one more because i want you to go look at the calendars and check it out for yourself and get you one or two uh, for anybody else that you know, we've got some photos of An Anthony uh, setting it all up, how he does his process. He's all over all the socials that you'll see right here. And you can pause that. But I did want to find one that he was telling us about at the show. And while I'm looking for it, check out some photos of Mark Dotson Man Diecast and I as we were talking with Anthony and just we were grilling him on his top five cars top 10 worst cars um and i tried to stump him with some photos of some obscure cars which we like on twice diecast and i didn't he nailed every one of them so this is a picture of a studebaker there's two studebakers they look like they're the same scale and they are not um one in the front is a model and one in the back is Anthony's real one-to-one -one scale black Studebaker. So telling you can you can tell by that photo how awesome he is at what he does, a master of his craft. This is a 2023 calendar, Anthony Schmidt photography. Um, and you will love it. And I can't wait to give this to Chuck. I'm gonna see him in a few months, first time I get to meet him, and this will be a fantastic. Uh, thing to give Chuck and I'd be remiss if I didn't say that Anthony at Diecast Supercon Received a pretty prestigious award. Take a look at this. He uh, he was inducted into the Hall of Honor and uh, From Diecast Breakdown from David at Twice Diecast and from a lot of other collectors that feel the same way Congratulations, Anthony. Well-deserved uh, one of the best dudes in our community and we hope to talk to you soon on Diecast Breakdown, and I'd love to have you as a guest on Twice Diecast as well. So until then, guys, thanks for sticking around till the end. I had a blast at Diecast Supercon. More videos to come. Take care.